God can change your world. As you listen to this podcast by Christian Information Network Ministries, your world shall change. In the image of God created, image God created in him, male and female created in them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replay the heart, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Say amen. Amen. Well, this is a scripture that is very, very popular. We have read it over and over. And of course, because you read it last week or something, we are not going to read it today. Because there are lessons God wants to draw that has to do with what we are talking about. Now, I will be speaking on dominion. One of the things that is kingdom realities, the purpose of the kingdom is for us to dominate. So dominion is my focus this morning. And you can see the intention of God from the beginning. When God created man, he said, he kept on mentioning it. All that was said there is all about dominion. Let's create man in our image. That is where it started from. Let me pick this. That is where it started from. God created man in his image. And I will say that God created man in his image. I don't know where your mind is going. We are saying God created you in his image. By the time we read things in the Bible, we don't apply it to ourselves. When you say God created man in his image, your mind is going to Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. Yes, Adam and Eve and Eve were the first man and woman. And by trans uh, by, 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 by translation, everything that God made out of Adam is what produced us. What God made out of him produced humanity on the surface of the earth. So God created us in his image after his likeness. God created you in his image after his likeness. Now, what we say God created us in his image? What are we talking about? I will say the way I have hands, God has hands. Well, the Bible talks about the hands of God is not shutting. You can see God has hands, but how his hand looks like, you may not know. Praise God. Now, you say, God, ah, okay, I have eyes. God has eyes. Beautiful. The eyes of the Lord is going to and fro. Have you? Throughout the world, we know God has eyes. Oh, I have ears. Oh, the ears of God, you know, is not a death to answer our prayers. So God has ears. Hallelujah. Oh, does God have legs? Perhaps, maybe, but the Bible tells us, you know, that when God was when God was meeting with people, that mountains begin to tremble. Is that not so? So there are so many things, but see, what the Bible is talking here is not talking about the features I've just mentioned. We are talking about the DNA of God transfer into human beings. We are talking about what made God to be God that is infused into our lives. That is the image of God. And this image of God is what we call dominion. It's what we call authority. It's what we call rulership. That is the image and the likeness of God. So we are not talking about the way God looks like, the way I look like, I don't know. One day we will know. Is that so? But the most important thing you must understand that God created man to exercise authority and dominion on the surface of the earth. The way God rules in heaven, rules on the earth. Now, God wants to have, you know, a crop of being that are different from other things that other creatures that he has created. Animals are creatures, birds are creatures, are God's creatures. That also, every other thing, the plant, God created them, and God said the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and so on and so forth. But God now said, I am creating man to exercise dominion, to take rulership, to take authority, to be in charge. All right? That is who you are. That is who I am. That is the DNA of God. 
That is the person of God that is put into our lives. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is the vision of God. God wants the way heaven is operating, the way he rules, he wants his will to be done on earth, but without, but not without the instrument of man. God will not do anything without man. He has chosen it to be so. And that's why see, many a time, if you fail to pray, to exercise authority or dominion, nothing will happen. I can't expect God should understand he should do some things. There are things God will not do, except he engage or engages the instrumentality of man. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, exercising dominion. There are a lot of fears in the air. We fear too much. Some people are afraid that their marriage will crash. Some people are afraid that their business will collapse. Some people are afraid that their health will deteriorate or their health will fail and they will die before, before their time. They are not threatening us with so many failures, with so many challenges, and because we have failed to understand that our position in God or what God created us for to exercise dominion, things we are supposed to dominate, to rule over, they are ruling over us indirectly. Hallelujah. So what is the thought? What is going on in your mind this morning? What are the fears that are in your heart? Some people believe that, well, in their house, in their family, they don't last more than 60 years of age. And so if he's 40 something, 40 something tomorrow, he's afraid that he may not reach 60. He's afraid he may not be 70. He is afraid that, oh, this sickness, you know, in the family, it always killed them. That this sickness that I'm carrying now is likely to go to, go to kill me. Now, that one day, and the fear, I'm sorry, the faith that God can heal, that God can set free, right? Now, that look, that whatever you desire in the place of prayer, you can ask from God. God will do it. That you are created in the image of God. You are not created for defeat. You are not created for failure. He has forgotten all those things. The same cry that people are crying in the world is the same cry the church is crying. The cry of no money was so well over Things are difficult. You better change your language. Never say there is no money. Is somebody hearing me this morning? Don't say with your mind, I have no money. Change that language. Discipline yourself to change it from today. That it does not matter when somebody says that I can I can you help me so sad? so don't say I don't have money. You have money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the words of your mouth, you will be justified. By the words of your mouth, you will be condemned. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Whatever is your thought line, we make we may manifest. Job said. That which I greatly fear has come upon me. Who asked him to be afraid of it? What he was afraid of. He was a righteous man, good. He was serving God, wonderful. God, God singled him out and meets people that were living in that time, especially in the eastern part of the world there. He was a just man. He was a righteous man, but he was a man of fear. Fear was dominating his heart. So when he hears catastrophes befalling the ungodly in his generation, there is a fear that my children may die one day. There is a fear that I may be sick. There is a fear that I may lose my property. There is a fear that Susan so, says, so, 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 Ah, my father, it has happened to Susan so, 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 so. There is a fear in his heart in such way that he was righteous, but he does not understand that he carried the DNA of God. Is somebody who followed this? He was righteous. Somebody can be righteous, go to heaven before his time. What kill others can kill you? You will go to heaven, right? You can live like a pauper on earth. That you are poor. You continue to struggle. And yet you are righteous. Yet you are born again. Yet you are going to heaven. It is a different thing entirely. You can go to heaven either like Abraham or you go to heaven like Lazarus. 
He didn't have a choice. Lazarus was poor. Lazarus was struggling. He was full of sorrow. He was full of calamities. Yet he was righteous. He went to heaven. Alright? You will talk about the rich man as if that riches is what sent to heaven. Now lie. It's not true. Abraham was rich. All the patriarchs were rich. Is that not so? And yet they made heaven. As a matter of fact, if poverty is too much, it can make you to be saved. Poverty, poverty is not good. Poverty is the bastard. And so if you are suffering under the burden of poverty, my prayer for you this morning, the Lord will deliver you. Amen. No, Amen is weak. I said the Lord will deliver you. Amen. You don't need to be afraid of what others are afraid of. You are a child of God. You are created in the image of God. So when you are born again, that is when you trace your step back into the originality. Okay? If somebody is not born again, right? Any other thing can be falling. It is true, was created in the image of God, but the image will not be made manifest. The authority will not be made manifest. He cannot exercise dominion because he is cut off from the Almighty. Alright? He is cut off from the life of God. But when you give your life to Jesus, you come back, you are connected to that life of God. Listen very well this one. I know there are prayer houses. I know there are prayer mountains. I know people could go to prayer mountains. I want that contract. I want that business. I want this. I want that. I want child. I want miracle. They go to prayer houses. Once it got dry, heaven will, I mean, the place will shake. But let me tell you, that victory is just for a while. It's not a permanent victory. If any man is not born again, Whosoever committed sin is of the devil. That's what the Bible says. You cannot continue in sin and ask that the grace of God should abound. The answer is God forbid. That you are not born again and you think that, ah, yes, when I pray, when I fast, keep on fasting, keep on praying. I tell you, you may gather it. What will take it away from you is, is just not to start your door. Because you are not secure. You can't ascend dominion. Yes, you come to prayer house, you come to church, they pray for you. God answer. I call me honor the prayer of his servants. But I tell you, the man that is prayed for may not be able to sustain the victory. Hallelujah. I don't know how to that in English. Our online audience. Praise God. All what he says is that when others are there, whatever you do when others are there, it is something. But when you are alone, some things will still confront you. You can have the victory, but in the victory permanent. You can have the miracle, but is it sustainable? If you don't understand that the kingdom realities, pro I mean, See what kingdom has put in place, one of it, last week I was talking about what? You know? Supremacy of what? Of the kingdom. Supremacy of the kingdom. That the kingdom is so there are two kingdoms in the world. The kingdom of the evil and the kingdom of good. Is that also? The kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. And the kingdoms have been rising and falling. Talk about the Babylonian Empire. Talk about the uh, the the great the the, 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 the Grecians Empire. Talk about the Roman Empires. There have been empire. There have been kingdoms one way or the other. Talk about the British Empire. All those empires they have ruled the world at a particular time. But there is no rulership that is permanent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you what is going on now. You know, America is facing challenges also. Because they have ruled the world for a very long time. And that's why China and the economic power, China is fighting, all right? They want to have a charge. They want to have control. You know, want to have control. And of course, there is quiet fear in the heart of the Americans. That things may still fall apart. Praise God. Hallelujah. So kingdoms, this race, kingdoms collapse. And if you take it to the, the, to the evil, you know, arena, where somebody to use hands, that is where another one's, you know, begins. 
When you say, okay, I have this support, I have this and that, this and that, I'm fortified. You want to go into the world of business and you are not fortified? <laughs> you are not fortified? You want to operate either in the oil industry, you want to operate in the real estate, you want to operate, you know, in the, in, in the manufacturing, you want to operate, we are again, in different aspects, even in career. You want to operate there. You don't know that there are principalities that are occupying that place already. And that you want to get there. Do you think it's easy for somebody to be to launch to the multi-million, you know, in Naira? It's very easy at all. Ah, I want to become a millionaire. 500 million. I claim it in Jesus' name. It does not happen cheaply. There are people that are in charge through their powers, through their negative powers, they have a mass wealth and they are operating in that corridor. How many of you understand what I'm saying? For you to enter into that arena, they want to know who are more when you walk. Who is your father? And that's why you see that all the rich people, they always set their children. I was talking at the beginning, which I've said here before. Now, many of these people, either in the political power, economic power, they are ready to sacrifice something. When they start, when they start, they will say, no, no, no problem, it is, uh, it is RAM. They want to sacrifice RAM, you know, to do a good to do something to make them to prosper. Are you get what I mean? Now, after they have sacrificed RAM, later to renew it, it becomes cow. After they begin to do cow, 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 eh? My wife was telling me of a particular uh, a ketra, a big term ketra, that he said there is a man that always do January, is it not January? You know, January 1st. January 1st in Lagos, I mean. Uh, that he is in Togo court. But the covenant is that he will do as if a massive party, cows, will be killed. He will carry people. People will come and see a media part. Is a really one. And thank God for the woman who is the Ketra, a big time Ketra that's always the, I think she's a busy child of God. And God has told her you must not eat. But imagine you put food, you are not eating out of it. She will, she will not taste it. And those that are working with her, she will have, you know, what happened? She, they will have cooked their own food from home. So when they are eating their own rice, it's different from the rice they cook for people. It's not eating out of their soup. It's not eating out of their cow. It's not out of their you know, chicken. You know something like that? Because she understood. But she's making her money. Money? Every money goes same. I do, I do. But there's no yet here. Hold on. I mean. But the covenant shot that person. You know, as well. If God did not tell her, open her eyes. Oh, no. You're good. You're good. Some people will say, ah, party. Chop, 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 chop. I pray. Chop will not kill me. Because you lack discretion. You are not walking in the spirit. You don't listen to God. For God to guide you to live your spirit that are led by the spirit of God. They are the sons of God. We are the sons of God that can exercise in dominion. Now, it is cow. After some time, they will say, oh God, cow cannot do this again. You need human being. And they begin to do for either by sex, they, they destroy it in the life of a lady, you know, for sacrifice, either by, you know, you know, direct feeding, they will do all these rituals, okay? It won't stop there. After some time, they say, there is another life, not that sacrifice. This time around, eh? It is now your blood. I mean, it's now your blood that is needed. Either your wife or your child that you love most. I mean, and that's why you see many of those people, they always lose the most promising child. In the family. Are you getting the point? Yes, they will lose them. The one that is promising. I don't want to mention names again, I'm on air. You will discover that some of the other politicians go and look at them. All the politicians, you know, since, 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 since the 70s or forever, you know, who have been politicians, all of them lost their children. And you discover that the child that died. There's one that we don't want to mention that his child that died was a lawyer. Was the old woman prisoner. The one that now begin to mention, you know, later, he still has no place to be found. They will, they, the devil will demand for something higher. 
They can sacrifice their wives. Then you trust your husband, who is not born again, now he cannot use you. Man. Because they are not asking him to use you. <laughs> when they ask him to use you, when you know the secret of the devil, you cannot go back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ah, I love my wife. Yeah, it's a matter of time. And you don't know that wife also can use us now. Praise God. Hallelujah. If anyone is not born again, you can't trust such a person. Because when the demand comes, nobody comes up that wants to go down. Is somebody hearing me? You cannot get into a class and you want to come to the bottom. No! At that point, whatever they are asked to pay for a renewal to go higher, they will, they will do it. They will do it. They say, ah, child, child, they can cry. Ah, yeah, my child, don't die. Ah, I say, sorry, Papa. Or oh, sorry, man. Uh, God, God give it. God take it. You don't know that it is devil that take it. God give it, but devil take it. Praise God. Because people want to maintain a class. And you are a child of God. This is where you are contending. The Bible says, if you contend with man and they weary you, how can you contend with horses? Hallelujah. How can you contend with people that are the speed level if you cannot, if you don't have strength? And so if you're a child of God, you want to prosper, you want God to take you this, this, and that, God also raises his children. I was thinking, give you an example of a man here, you know, Kosharis. Kosharis Kutos. The man of Kosharis Kutos. You know, man with Bamba, man. Like Kosmos. He is a child of God. Such people are broken to that class. You see, God, they are They are respected because the power of God, dominion, has brought them to that level. He is the one, he's the one, not the, 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 the sole distributor of, uh, yeah. of, of BM and uh, uh, what's the other car? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. He is the sole distributor in the country. Not that the Lord now, sometimes, uh, some years back, that he had you no know, rice factory, built some factories, that about three, four governors were there to dedicate it. Praise God. He has broken to that arena. He is a multi millionaire, but he's still a child. That sometimes I was seeing him, you know, he was doing street meeting, evangelism, preaching, he wrote his checks, preaching outside, someone was interpreting, not that person, he was doing just street, call it, uh, uh, what do you call it now, uh, street mass evangelism, he was preaching. And I was like, this was Charis, a multi billionaire. He, has, he knew that God carried him to that arena. It is by dominion. Overcoming every obstacle and he still kept his relationship with God. Shout out to When God bless you a little bit now, it is then you will know that, uh, well, red wine is for the hearts. And to help your hearts. Because you want to be done, how can you be sipping wine and I'm drinking uh, malt? It is for the heart. Praise God. <laughs> so, uh, what's wrong with your heart? This is what you have. I see people that don't believe when their heart is not to maintain. You will be because you want to belong to a class. So that I say, I say, I say, I know, I mean, I'm a child of very hard. Eh? It is small, small. Later, you begin to eat what you are not supposed to eat. And the grace and the power of God in your life will be diffused. You will be able to reduce you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people that are poisoned through drink. Hallelujah. Is it not through drink? Man, you go back and you go back and you get no poison in your Because the type of friends you keep will determine the kind of life you are going to live. We must understand these people of God that the will is possible. That is what God has made out of our life. And you need God's backing, something, a power, a push that will continue to take you to greater heights. 
Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, having food and remains, let us be contented. Eat good food. And I tell you that good food is not the body. It is poor people that eat plenty food. Rich people don't eat, you know, when you have to you don't eat. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If I was in food for begging, begging for food, we will perish one day. You know? But to eat the food is simple. Let, you must understand the lifting that God gives to you because of the kingdom. If you are not going to represent God, if your wealth is not going to finance the gospel, if your wealth is to begin to count so that you also can be the richest person in your village or in your town. So you want to be like all the rich people who are, who is now the number one richest person in the world. Who cares? Praise God. Hallelujah. Money is to be spent for the purpose of God. Not to amass wealth so that you'll be able to, uh, your own name will now enter the Guinness Book of Records. What do you need that one for? What do you need the praise of man for? What do you need the evaluation of man for? But if you are with God and God prospers you and you are financing the gospel, financing the kingdom, you know, helping life, building life, building bridges, you know, people that will not amount to anything, you are raising them. That is what life is all about. That is what. Go and read your Bible. The Bible says if you give, if you help the poor. He said, the day of when you cry, God will not forget you. Have you? Yes, sir. Ah, but there are people, Christians today, who have the money who will never help you. And I said, who are not talking about those who are asking for Barra or something on the roads. But there are people, there are children you can peel from the grass and take to grace. You can take them from the pit and help them and raise them and feed them their school. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you can help. That tomorrow they will remember that somebody invested into their lives. And it becomes something they want to do for others in the future. That is life. That is the kingdom. It is not the will of God for people to be in pain, people to be in abject poverty, people to begin to struggle. That is not the kingdom design. We are talking about kingdom realities. The way things are supposed to be in the kingdom that needs to be replicated on the surface of the earth. And God is looking for the instrument of man that we use. So, it is the will of God for us to exercise dominion. In the book of Psalm chapter 8, Psalm 8, O Lord my God, how excellent is thy name in all the heart. But thou hast said thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouths of babes, and suffering thou hast ordained strength. When I consider the heavens, the heaven, the heart that you have made, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visited him? For thou hast made him what? A little lower than the angels. Thou hast also crowned him with glory and honor. Hallelujah. And you have made him, you know, to have control over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the animals in the field, all that walk in the part of the sea. That is Psalm 8. He said that it will be able to exercise dominion. God wants man to exercise dominion, to exercise rulership. That is what God wants man to be. Amen. Amen. Dominion is exactly the authority of heaven on earth. Dominion is to exert heaven authority on the earth. Dominion is a means to be privileged. If you are of the God's side, you are privileged. Dominion, you cannot have dominion by the hand of the flesh. That's what I'm saying, that in dominion, we want to have authority, we want to move to a class, we want to prosper with the support of man. Without God, one will still fail. The arm of flesh will always fail. David understood that. When David, you know, confronted Goliath, 
Do you know what he told Goliath? He said, you, come, you have come unto me with spear, with sword, with arrow, with javelin, with all these things. He said, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. He said, the head, he said, your head, I will cut off your head. And I will give your body to the fowls of the air. The man, the young guy that was talking, has no blood transfer. He has no soul. But if you see it in the spirit, I will cut off your head. I will cut off your head. I will cut off your head. He understood. He said, I come in the name of the Lord. He understood that it is the will. I am not your height. I am not threatened. How Philistines have uh, uh, mesmerized and uh, uh, demobilized the Israel army, including King Saul, I am not bothered about that. But one thing I know is that you have defied the army of God. These people, no matter how weak they are, they are from God. They are Israelites. Amen? So because of that, because of that's why you are going to suffer for it. And I come in against you in the name of the Lord, Lord of Israel that you have defied. Your head, I will cut it off. You did cut it off? Yes, sir. What did he use? He used the sword of Uriah to cut off his head. Praise the Lord. He used the sword of Uriah to chop off his head. That is to be. He was not relying on the answer of the flesh. You remember before you went to go and confront Goliath, when they brought him to King Saul, King Saul said, ah, small boy, ah, you are young, you don't understand what you are saying. This man has been a warrior from the time of his youth. And here you are, you are not in this stage. You are not in the Israel army. You are not in the combatants you are. You are not even a trade, uh, what do you call it? A soldier in the trade. You cannot go. And he told King Saul, I have to listen to him. One day I was in the field taking care of my father's, uh, the, the, the father's uh, animals. The lion came. I caught that lion. You know, I deliver my lamp, you know, from the mouth of the lion. I kill the lion. Oh, King, don't worry. I mean, the next time I could get, one day bear came. Just with a claw, I kill the bear. That this uncircumcised Philistine will just be like one of those animals. Can you see the thinking? You know, the kingdom, you know, thoughts, the dominion thinking that this one is this rather than lion. This one is this one rather than bear. If I keep and kill lion, we are going to do it. Who is this one? Is an uncircumcised ally for me. Is somebody that does not have relationship with God. That makes his death to be fast. And the king saw said, okay, okay, all right, okay, you will go. But look, if you have never been a soldier, let me help you. He put his hammer on a small boy. All right? He put his hammer on a small boy. He put his shoe. He put everything. He put sword. And David could not even carry his leg. I said, sir, have this. I'm sorry. I am not much used to this one. Please take your things. Hands of the flesh. But look, he went to the Lord and used his catapults. And say, he went to God and look for five smooth stones. And that is grace. It's like the month of grace. Praise God. Hallelujah. He didn't understand that. Look, this man. He was thinking that by the time I, I, I hit him with five stones, he will be down. He is the only one that he used. This month, you will conquer your enemies. Amen. You overcome all your fears. Amen. You exercise dominion. Amen. You reign as a king in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So that is dominion. The challenges of our time is an opportunity to rededicate our life so that we might be able to exercise dominion. The challenges of our time is an opportunity for us to rededicate our life and make sure that we can exercise dominion. It is time the survival of the fittest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have told you, don't ever say you don't have money. Can I say, I have money. 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 I have, money. I have money. Speak positive. You speak to your situation. You speak to create miracles around your life. Don't be afraid. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this coming, this month we are going to have another president and new national assembly is doing everything. Don't worry. 
in this, if I've never seen it with a new car, I'm going to buy it this time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is, it is this time. Now, it is this time. Everything that is not complete, I'll complete this time. Amen. Everything that needs to do is this time. And they say Nigeria is the poorest uh, Kediko. I'm not part of the poor. And that's why I say any people I see mass transit, I know where enter. I'm not the masses. I'm not part of the people. Hallelujah. When they say they are visible, something is for masses, I won't go there. I'm not poor. I'm not less privileged. I'm not an unfortunate person. Praise God. Hallelujah. They say, go and register. I'm, not, I'm saying my own name. Go and register. They say that uh, government want to give you twenty twenty thousand or those who are who have no job or this is any people you come over rough city people rough he not only just rough city have changed the whole world because poverty is in the mind. It's poor insight in his thinking. Everything free. I can imagine anything that is free. When you say we are doing medical outreach, free now. You will see somebody who will pack good car after one that free medical outreach. Who can finance himself going to the hospital? Yes. He believes that extra I can get. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was listening to the program when I got on time when I listened to this reading. You know, and uh, it is an evil uh, they used to have a program they do like this. I was listening to it. The one they tweeted that they said, you see people that people will lodge in the hotel, want to cut bed sheet to tell them. Uh-huh. They will remove the bed sheet of the hotel. <laughs> Praise God. You know in the hotel, if you go into some uh, three or four star hotel, that can be five to one or different sizes. Eh? Some people will pack out of the hotel and put it in their rooms. He said, ah, how can I can sleep with 50,000 naira, uh, you know, 30,000 naira in one night. I will not, I will not, I will not take it something. You know. Apart from taking the, well, this is your home, the toilet room, the bathroom, this and that, <laughs> you know. But they will remove. Even the toilet room that there is almost in one job. Right? Huh? I must finish my money. <laughs> Hallelujah. To so the extent that now you see that people, the people began to call in and they begin to say that ah, me too have done that before. Now, people will enter here play. You know, if you enter play, the blanket they give to you, eh? People will pack the blankets. You know, they will give you blankets in the night, you know, to cover yourself. They will throw the blanket into the blanket. Ah. Somebody said even the hair piece. To listen to music of worship, something you know that will give everybody a peace. For those of you that are probably you know, you know that's what I'm saying. Now, the a peace to listen to that. You are you have your own television or camera in front of you to listen to watch whatever you want to watch. Now, there are people we you are not supposed to go with this. Somebody said he took it on the way they go to, but it's nowhere to use it. <laughs> you can't commit it to anything, it's not going to work, you know. You know, they will say, ah, come and get money, praise God. They will pack. Until the one said, until the house said, please. And the house will come around to come and collect all those things when the plane is about to land, all right? But if you are still covering yourself, obviously they will leave you. You don't know that the gas plan. <laughs> I'm still covering myself, I'm still feeling the plane has not landed, at least it's back up my name. And before we leave, it has packed put it in the cupboard. The Lord will deliver you. Yeah. If you are a kind of person like that, may the Lord deliver you. Yeah. You know, so people, they don't understand. So anything that is masses, and they said people should register, people have no kidney company, we should register. And government wants to be giving them to San 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 so and five five thousand every month and kidney cut the pound. And if you are an elder statesman, if you are sixty, or about to be sixty, if you give the kidney cut. I don't need your money. I am not poor. I am rich. My father holds the heavens and the earth. Silver, God says 
silver is mine, gold is mine. The thousands of cattle upon the east belongs to me. If you don't change your thinking, you cannot exercise dominion. Of course, I cannot finish this topic today. I'm not going to be very high. But you must understand that, that God has intention in the kingdom realities is to be brought to the surface of the heart. God is looking for people who have, who has his DNA, who has his nature, who has his image, who are going to represent him on the surface of the earth. You will have to dominate in every aspect of your life, in your career, in your business, in your home, everything. That's what I'm saying. What is killing others will not kill you. Amen. What demoralizes others will not demoralize you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dominion is about making a difference. To exercise dominion is to make a difference. The Bible says, when men shall say, when they say they are, they are, they are past that, the Bible says, your own language shall be what? When you are cast down, you are lifted. That is who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't ever create pity party around yourself. You know pity party? The pity party around oneself is that people say, hey, yeah. the Lord is your strength. The Lord will see you through. And my brother, you know what? The Lord will see you through. Ah, sister. I understand what you are passing through. How can you understand? How can you understand what you are passing through? I understand what you are passing through. You see, the Lord will see it. The Lord will make you that. And all the business is pity party. And you will cry a little bit. Some people will still cry. Go to the bathroom, they cry. And they say, oh, 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 they will wash their face and come out. I say, how, 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 all is well. All is well. Shout hallelujah. I hope you are not sleeping there. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must understand. You don't need people to pity you. You have to be celebrated. Okay? Not to be pitied. But some people, they like it. They like it. They say, ah, how are you? Oh, God is with you. The Lord is your strength. The Lord is this and that. Ah, you must say, ah, ah. And I you know I was sick, you did not ask after me. I was this and that, you did not, you know. You know something? You see all those things, you must understand dominion. I have told you this story, it has nothing to do with us, which you may be born again and live a righteous life and can still be dominated. Because it is your mind. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Have you never seen? People that minister that have anointing. I mean, and yet they are poor. They are poor. That's why the fact they have the anointing. Only they can be pray for people, miracle can happen. Go and look at where they are living. Go and look at the car they drive. Go and look at the struggle, the struggle, the way they struggle in life. Then you begin to wonder, all of that man he gone. Hello. God is using him. Because it's just an instrument in God's hand, alright? But his own mind is not renewed. His mind is not renewed. This was kind of good man that was saying, he said, his father, his father will pay time, will pay offering, will give to God, but he never received. He said, because his father never expects to return. That God can bless him financially, God can open up. And it's not going to happen that way. Such people, you see, they don't understand the principles of giving. Every seed that gets to their hand, they will, they will eat it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord now. Hallelujah. I'm preaching to you free now. I went to preach at the beginning, they gave me a minute for the radio. And they put out in my, in my car. I'm giving you free now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Huh? Oh, leave it to Baba Milaku. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Ah, they give it. Ah, I said, you know, you need a dow. If I have about 10 centers, if you need it, 
Mama, I'm not talking. Amen. If I go around and they give me on the radio, they give me this and that. Eh? But you here, I'm preaching now. Some of you will not write. Some of you begin to look at me. This and that. Ah, let me preach. Yes, you preach. You have to be good to charge me for preaching. <laughs> That's a joke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you must get this. You have to finance the kingdom. Some ministers are living in poverty because their members also are poor. Members are poor. And so when you talk about finance and these other just they are not talking that you could know that I don't have. Who know that you don't have? Why should you put yourself among those who do not have? When this kingdom realizes the kingdom of opportunities is open, you know, to everyone. But you are not accessing it. Because of your thinking pattern. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And thank God that because I am not a person that begs for money. I say, ah. Never mind the church. Go and hold me to know. There's no guy at home. There's no something at home. Pastor must speak to. But does it mean that Pastor does not need to be blessed? Praise God. Hallelujah. You have people that understand the principles of the kingdom. They know what to do to their pastors. They know what to do to the kingdom. They know that look, you don't need to tell. You must try that. I don't need to talk about finance. And you must bless your pastor. You must bless this and that. You must bless that. Those who understand the kingdom principles, they are doing it. Praise the Lord. Amen. They are doing it. Come to my office. Even the old women and women, I eh? praise God. At times they come to my office and say, ah, sir, this is, you know, some of this is our mama. They say, this is uh, this one. I say, no, 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 sir. Oh, no. Wait, did you come? Did you come? And I pray for them, your children, the way they are doing well, the way they are blessing, they may they continue to do what? To bless you. At times it can be 10,000 in the end of to go and buy the church card. At times they will come with some things, praise God. Now, because you think that they don't understand the kingdom principles, between the way they call God, they are good, you look down on them. You think you know better than them. The little they know is enough to deliver them. And their children are doing well. That's why the they don't have job that they are doing. But blessing is coming. All that they are doing, their children are getting help. They can build house for them. They can do this for them. They can buy that for them. That is the kingdom. You must understand dominion. You must understand this is the will and the purpose of God. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one of the areas that I will I came this morning and strip you one or two points is the area of I'm talking about you know being born again, you must be born again, give your life to Jesus before you can have the life of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Then the next thing you see, you know, to exercise dominion. One of the there are things that is trying to beat us hands down. Fear of your unknown. A lot of challenges, things are happening. Like I told you, Job said, that which I greatly fear has come upon me. He has been afraid of those things that happened to him. If it is not the mercy of God that restores those things back to him. Amen. But you see, our prayer life, we must do something because dominion is not cheap. Hello? If you don't have power back up, you can't kind of to me. That is where we fail. Because there is no power back. There is nothing pushing us. Like I told you that in the world, if you are in one level of uh, achievement, you have to, if they are going to do, you have to do another one. That also, to climb higher. You can't go to another level without paying price. The same thing, prayer is not cheap. If your prayer in a day is 10 minutes, 20 minutes, maintenance, prayer. Now, all those things, the level of dominion will not be more than that. Some things will elude you. Jesus Christ went to the mount, you know, with the three of the, uh, 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 of the, of the apostles. And by the time he came, they brought a child or a boy that is uh, a dumb and deaf. Have you? They brought him to, to, the, to, to the remaining uh, disciples. The nine of them. And the Bible says that, is it nine or ten now? You know, I mean, the nine of them, they began to cast out the devil. Don't forget the other time 
they have gone out to preach. They said the devil fell down. I mean, uh, the demons are bound to us and on all those things. Now, because Jesus Christ, you know, breathed upon them, gave power to you know, to grant this exercise to me. They came back and they were giving stories. Jesus said, Well, I even saw what you did not see. I saw the devil falling down like a light. But don't be rejoiced because of God. Rejoice because your name is preaching heaven. But this time around, a deaf and dumb, they can cast you, they cast out. Nothing happened. And they were frustrated. And the and the owner and the and the, and the mother, I think the mother of the of the of the of the, of the boy. Now when Jesus came and said, Jesus, I brought this to your disciple. Well, they could not cast him out. And this demon and this problem, at times he throw this boy into fire. He can throw him anywhere. When this epileptic spirit you know, came upon him, I mean comes upon him. And he narrated all the problems and things like that. And Jesus said, How soon will I be like that? Pray in the ikas of the Wise people, they came to Jesus privately. He said, Master, you have taught us some things. Why couldn't we cast that spirit? And Jesus said, This kind cannot go except with what? Fasting. And at that time, they had not been fasting. When Jesus said, because he was alive, things are happening. He said, but a day is coming that you will fast. He said, it cannot go except with fasting and prayer. So Jesus was telling them there is a kind. Miracle is in kinds. Prosperity is in kinds. Okay? Living is what? It's in kind. Are you following me this morning? Yes, sir. It is in kind. The kind that you can operate or result you are seeing now, it is the kind that your prayer can deliver. There is another kind that you are expecting you need to push. Pray until something happens in that direction before you can give back to that. Hallelujah. And so, for you to be successful and be able to exercise dominion without struggling. Dominion without struggling, the first thing I want to mention is that you must have desire. Everyone say desire. If you don't have desire for lifting, you cannot have, you cannot be lifted. That's why I said, I said that the Coconut said, my father never expected results to be done. And so, if I was so, he was giving by giving off, he never he was in a person. But the son who understood the principle, and the Coconut is one of the richest creatures in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the richest preachers in the world. Of course, some of these preachers they have their businesses, they have businesses, they have businesses. He said, I did tight. We pay tight regularly, 10%, take 90. He said, but when he was doing he saw the way God is faithful to him and his business. He has to change it to 30 70. He did not 30, he will take 70. He said, but when he saw the prosperity coming, he changed to 50 50. By the time he was talking, he would give God 90 with take 10. But the time that he cannot finish that thing, praise God. Hallelujah. He was in a meeting and he was praying. He said, God, you are blessing me too much. And there is another man of God, a prophet, who began to say, Say, Thus says the Lord, I have not started blessing in the book now. Because the book man bought the airplane, he gave it to get it taking his lifetime. As it is. But those things, see, oh, you go, oh, you go, I will you know, you call on Bush and you I see people get you, I have to see get you, but they understood the kingdom principles. He gave Kenneth taking the airplane, and Kenneth taking to the plane, eh, and gave it to our robot. Or a robot is into cruising. Yes, sir. You understand that? He's going to evangelism. Can I think he said, what do I need to for? I am a teacher and a prophet. I'm not doing cruising. Why do I want to travel with you? I don't need it to give it out. He is a black man. If you want to go to Paris, I will give you to <laughs> Because it's a class that becomes a status. What do you want? They don't see that anything. 
Then I think God was blessing in his own class. Praise God. And when he did that, money also came, you know, a lot of people, you know, things came to Kenneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the kingdom principles. I was reading a story, it was in that, um, it was, yeah, it was very, uh, is it Rambuki now? I think it was Rambuki this time. No, is it Rambuki or Billy Brown? One of the those evangelists, you know, the crusade you do outside here in Africa, you have to do it in some place under the tent. So they have a tent in Chicago, Pitini, or they have a kind of tent that will spread that can take hundreds of thousands of people. And so it is a lot of money to have that tent. But one day, one of them, I think it be the Abraham, that Tornado came. You know, strong the tent. They want it back. And they got torn and spoiled. And that man of God wanted to get his words from this. To get from that. He just came and spoke and said, What? How can the devil be disturbing the work of God? He went to go and buy another tent. Do you get to that level? Yeah. That will sponsor the kingdom. Yeah. You will sow for the advancement of the gospel. Yeah. But if you don't, have the understanding that there is a kind, everything in its kind. There is a kind of level, there is another level, it's of a kind, there is another promotion, it's of a kind. If you think what you want to do to this level is what the other level is going to take you, it's not going to go So desire is the first thing I want, to, I want you to hold on. There must be a desire in your heart. Desire in your heart. Nobody becomes or achieves anything in life until he has a strong desire for such a thing. People don't exercise dominion because they don't even understand what dominion is or their status in God. All right. So because of that, they don't even ask, they don't desire or aspire for greater things. And some of you here, your business must change this year. Yeah. You can hear me. I say your business must change this year. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, you need to have something. You need to have some multiple streams of income. You need to have some things from change. So much those ideas in your heart that you have not delivered, you must give back to it. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It is time. You must have a strong desire. There are some of you who are doing business in the home, you know, business, hundreds of thousands of business. Uh, they come to the and when they say a business of 500 million, I get my job, you get afraid. Ah! Oh, whoa! When some people are doing businesses of one billion dollars, they are pursuing business of one billion dollars, I'm not talking about it. Give them the election. Somebody got anything? But you must decide. Like I said, if you understand the principle of the kingdom and you know that this is for the glory of God and you have the desire that this small business should be enlarged, all right? You are doing pop pop, you know, small stuff, you are putting show glass and you begin to think that, ah, uh -uh, one of these days, somebody is sitting around, you go grab everything up. You know, one of these days, this business that I'm doing, I must, I must also be like Mr. Biggs, I must be like Tantalizer. You know, you are thinking, you are thinking. Of advancement, that no, I'm not going to remain small. My, my beginning may be small, but my greater height and what greater increase. You have that vision. I'm doing transport, I'm doing taxi, I'm going to be owners of vehicles, you know, a transport company. You have a desire, and that is what you are calling at. That is what you are bringing before God in the place of prayers. Shout hallelujah! hallelujah. That is it. There must be a strong desire to change your position, to change your level. If you are not tired of your level, you cannot move out of that level. Some of us, we are so accustomed to poverty and we know how to manage poverty. We can manage 